case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1916, the Court of Appeals of the District of Columbia heard the case of Ambrose v. United States, which centered on the proving of embezzlement and the admissibility of evidence relating to other acts. The defendant, a guardian, was accused of embezzling property entrusted to him by his ward with the intention of depriving the owner of it. The court noted that embezzlement is a crime requiring the establishment of evil intent or intent to defraud. Distinguishing it from larceny, the court explained that embezzlement involves the fraudulent conversion of lawfully acquired property, whereas larceny requires trespass accompanied by an intent to steal. Crucially, the government was deemed to have failed in providing sufficient evidence for fraudulent conversion of funds. The court also emphasized that evidence of other acts should only be admissible when they have a direct connection to the present case. Consequently, the judgment against the guardian was reversed, and a new trial was awarded, allowing the defendant the opportunity to defend himself under the appropriate legal principles. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class